Hi everyone, I was just, I just got home from my neighbors, so I was outside and it's raining. Um, and today has been an adventure, which um, I'll talk about the adventure in a second. But um, I'm going to start off with what I got for my birthday. Um, the non, like, a metaphysical stuff. And then we'll get into the adventure, the metaphysical things. A lot of breath. <laughs> so, first things first, I'll show what I'm holding in my hand. And this is from Tarte Cosmetics. So these items were, like, uh, birthday presents from my aunt, uncle, and my grandma. So, like, extended family. Um, it's an eyelash curler with like the bottom part looking like mermaid fins and then a little mascara tube, which is nice. Um, this mascara is nice. It's not my favorite. It's the uh, Lights Camera's Lashes, but I, cause I have one, but it's like so old and clumpy. So, got that. Um, because I, uh, in my new bathroom, there's like a sink and a sink, like a his and hers. So I'm just gonna be like a, this me. Um, so there's like a section that's kind of lowered and I have a vanity stool and I wanna put up like a nice mirror and just like make it really, really nice. So the one thing I don't have that I need is like a brush holder, but I have seen one on Amazon where you lay your brushes like vertical instead of just like having them um, kind of in like a thing and they're just all like hanging out like that so um I just think like this is adorable and this would be like really cute if this was like a little like clutch handbag but it is makeup and it says there we are um at the top here uh 99% mermaid and then these are the colors. And this smells really good. And you have like fun um, names like nude, beach, shore thing, like S-H-O-R-E, beach, please, salt water, fantastic, bubbles, lagoon, lagoon splash, shell, yeah, um, shipwreck, sandbar, um, cavern, all the different fun nautical beachy sea terms. Oops. So now I have like a nice, cause I, I don't wear makeup all the time, but every blue moon, I like to, you know, put a little something on and feel a little uh, put together, if you will. So just trying to close this. I'll just put it aside and worry about that later. Um, then also from Tarte Cosmetics is some new makeup brushes with a mermaid fins. Um, this looks like a nice kind of like tapered, maybe like a blending brush. This you could use for like blush or contour. Um, and then you have really big, like a bigger one. Maybe for like all of our powder and then um, again, like I really, I'm not someone who can just look at a brush, know what its name is and what exactly it's used for. I just do what I like. So because they have these like mermaid tail fins, right? I wanted like the folder I was mentioning so they could like lay out like that. Um, oh, here's another one. That's more of like a fluffier blending brush if I had to guess. Um, and then this fun, adorable tissue paper. And then these just, um, were things that I had, like, picked <coughs> off of Amazon to continue with the theme. So we have this, like, seashell brush. This would probably be a lot good for, like, contouring. I don't really do that, but I just think some of these are just really like, cute display pieces, if I'm, like, being brutally honest. And then these look like fish. 
And then uh, one more like mermaid tail. And it's a rainbow and these are like an ombre blue. Uh, so like a pinky color. So, so cute. So in case you don't follow me on social media, I did post a picture of these items on my Instagram and then I think I shared it to Facebook, but um, yeah. And this, it's so cute. That's like the fun makeup y stuff I got for my birthday. Now, the adventure is the adventure. So, um, we were thinking about going into the city for my birthday to see Book of Mormon, but we all woke up this morning and by all of us, me, my mom, and my dad, we were very tired. We had a lot of fun at the baseball game. So the idea of like having to like get up early, get moving and going into the city, it seemed like a lot. So my plan B was I wanted to go to metaphysical shops and I had looked up three. I might have talked about this already, but they were in Montclair. So the first store, I go on my phone, I put like the address and GPS and one thing pops up. I didn't see <coughs> that it said, Cranford, New Jersey. I just, I thought it was taking us to Montclair. And I'm expecting that when it says like, you've arrived at your destination, that I'm at a store. I forget what the name of it was. But no, we were in a residential neighborhood in Cranford. So we kind of went way out of our way. I ended up in Cranford. Um, we were like 30 minutes from Montclair. And if you're not from New Jersey, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about and none of this is making any sense. But basically, way out of our way, then we were like, just in general to begin with, then we were 30 minutes out of our way. And then we were like, kept circling to find this one store. And like, we parked, we get out, we look, and it just didn't look like authentic. It just looked a little like, mm. So there's two more on the list and we made it to the second one and I got a few things and that's what I'm about to show you. The third one we didn't get to because we were um, about like an hour away from where we were, I was gonna have my birthday dinner. So we didn't wanna like linger it too long, have it get too late and then like now I'm like hungry and I'm having like issues, low blood sugar. That's never a fun time. So, um, and also parking, because this was the first time, honestly, for my mom and I to like go to be in Montclair. We've never been there before. So, um, and there was like an event going on. So like parking, um, like lots were like $20. So if you couldn't find a spot like on the street or near um, a meter, anyways, basically what I'm trying to get at is if I have the opportunity to go back, I do want to check it out because at first I was like, eh, no, I don't think so. But now I'm kind of like very intrigued. But I will show you what I did get in this store today. Um, which the one we didn't go go the one we did not go into was like Blue Lotus something. I can't remember the name of the first one, and I can't remember the name of the second one. But it was like it was like mystical spirits and gifts or something. There's this cute bag. My mom got to. Um, things for herself and then I got some stuff make sure that's all here yes okay so I'll show you the first thing that I picked this item out not only for me but um for this group and for those of you watching this on my youtube channel my facebook group light and love I saw this and I was like I have to have it I have to get it because um, I've been thoroughly enjoying doing card readings more so than ever. So I'm like, you know what? I need to get another deck of cards and I need to get one. Like this is, I mean, hello. This is love and light and we're light and love. And so this is a 44 um, divine guidebook cards. Oh, 44 divine guidance, sorry cards and book guidebook and this is by Doreen she's one of my faves when it comes to these I don't know if these are oracle cards but it says connect with God's infinite love and light 
So this could be fun um, to do on like a Saturday or a Sunday because it's uh, everything that God created for any time. Yeah, anybody wants a card reading. Um, is filled with the divine love and light. Uh, nature is God's glorious creation with colorful rainbows, so on and so forth. So there wasn't a glare. I'm like, you could try to pause and read that. But um, I'll also be taking photos and posting this in the photo album of cards. So in case you're curious, that's where that's going to go. Uh, that's in my collection. And then if you're animal lovers um, and people who like to read, I got a book. Um, because you know me. What do I love more than anything? Aside from that everything that I talk about here, it would be cats. So it made perfect sense for me to get this book, The Holistic Cat, A Complete Guide to Wellness for a Healthier, Happier Cat. Um, this says, I did not need to read far into Jennifer, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce her last name, um, Jennifer's book to grasp the size of her heart, her dedication to cats, and the loving effort she devotes to homeless cats is more than an admir admir can't talk. admirable. Um, I'd say she's a saint. And this is from the forward by Don Hamilton, DVM, author of Homeopathic Care for Cats and Dogs, Small Dogs, Small Animals. So this is the front of the book with a kitty on it. This is the back of the book. Um, if anyone is interested, I'll photograph it. I might do that anyway, in case you are curious and want to read it. But um, it's black and white, but there are like, where'd it go? There are some photos. <laughs> so obviously I can't wait to start reading this. Um, and continue learning everything. And a few more items. Part of me is like, I should just keep this at my desk. Like why? I mean, all my makeup-y stuff I'll put back in here. carry upstairs and I came in that down here with the book um these why not right put them over here <coughs> oh my goodness you guys all right moving along missing. <coughs> and I might have, um, maybe my mom just got one bracelet and I accidentally gave her one of mine. Hi everyone. I just went to grab my water because I'm dying. I don't know if it's something, oh it just got something back here. Or, I don't know, it was totally fine at my neighbor's house and they have a dog, a multi -poop. You may have seen her around, her name's Lily, in like photos and videos and stuff, but um, I don't know, I just came back here, sat down, started filming and can't stop coughing. Um, anywho's, I have <clears throat> a bracelet which is blue gold stone and it is so like it's like a navy blue but it's like sparkly and shiny and i'm just like yes so i'll have to like maybe photograph it or do like a little film it um in like the sun when the whenever the sun comes out or in like just like under some light so you guys <clears throat> get the full effect um Cause yeah, I'm like, I don't see this. Anyways, moving along. Um, 
This is my Alex and Ani like thread bracelet. I got this I think for Christmas and it is a lotus flower. Like sunflowers are my all time favorite and I think they're a symbol of spiritualism or spiritualistic. Is that, I mean, is that, or spirit, I don't know, spirituality. Um, I also have some spring flowers I like, but if we're talking like really like symbolism and like symbolic and all that, I really like, if we're, talk, if we're really comparing ourselves to plants and flowers, I am totally a lotus flower and I just like speaks to me and has a little ohm sign there and I love this. So my birthday I picked out this um kind of I'm like debating if this is a rough if we'd call it a rough stone or polished but it's fluorite it's a fluorite bracelet and it has a little lotus flower um because it's kind of shiny but it's like a matte shiny does this make sense to anybody? And it fits me so nice. Um, or they probably wear it on this hand. If I'm being, oh, ooh, yes, like this is gonna live over here. Don't mind the hair tie and my, I love this. I'm obsessed with Mickey and American flag. I'm wearing got uh, West Point, West Point, Cynthia's heart flag, camo leggings, my American flag shoes. Totally patriotic, 24-7, 365. I mean, if I could just begin like anything, American flag and camo every day, I would. Um, I don't know what this is called. My mom picked this out for me. She was reading like all the little cards about like what stuff does. And so um, she said that this, it like calms animals. I'm like, ooh, the squeak, you need a collar. That would totally like stretch this thing out and break it. I would not put this on my cat. But since my goal is to like study and learn how to work with animals and like heal animals, maybe I could wear this when I'm doing that. So this could be like a work bracelet. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see. But yeah, I could wear this when I'm working with animals because supposedly it calms them down. I'm gonna have to like try to Google what this is. My aunt, she has the um, Crystal Bible. I think volume one, there's two volumes and I, I wanna add those to my collection. I've probably mentioned that before. There's like a lot of things I want. Um, before I continue wearing that, hold on. Then my mom also picked this out for me and I want to say it might be like a white howlet. I don't know um, if I have that in my deck of cards over there. I might. But she was reading the properties of this and she's like, oh, it's calming. It's peace. It's like gives you like a calming peace and like stress and like reduction and like all these things and I was like hmm um This only goes up to turquoise. It doesn't have all the letters of the alphabet. I think that's what it is. I don't know. If you really are curious and you want to know, um, I can try to Google what I think it is and look it up. Because I'm trying to put everything back from the place that it came from. Whew. Okay. Um... So we got technically four bracelets, but right now I'm just showing you three because these are my favorite types to wear. I have a bunch of them and a bunch of Alex and Ani. Um, two more items. I need some scissors. I'm 
very disorganized. I'm a disorganized human. Welcome to my life. I got a piece of um, carnelian. It's really raining now. Um, Cause I didn't know this till I started taking my like crystals 101. It has a name, the course. What is it? I don't know. Um, I probably have it written down. Exploring the basic ways to use crystals and crystal journey exploration and crystals energy and how they can affect your life. Self healing and enriching life and chakra work. It's a mouthful of things. Um, and taking the class, which I still am, I learned that orange stones, gemstones, crystals, like carnelian, are like nature's coffee. So if you're like in the middle of the work day and you're feeling sluggish and tired, they're like, get one of these. Any orange stone would probably do, but um, it was car carnelian was recommended. And they're like, just hold it keep it around you and it'll like give you energy. So love that. And then um, the last thing I'm so excited for. So uh, this is my, what is this, my left hand. And I always wear this ring that my dad got me in a jewelry store in downtown Disney in California, Disneyland, Anaheim. And it says love, it's just, and I love it. <laughs> then my mom got me this, ring that I picked out um, in Fort Worth, Texas in the stockyards because it looks, um, this is opal, right? And it has like, like little like gemstones, like they're gemstones, but this would be for diamonds. So they're not, they look like it. Um, and I wear this on my ring finger, on my um, right hand all the time but I wanted an upgrade and it's gonna be tricky because I'm obsessed with this. So if we, um, on my personal like Facebook and I'm thinking of transferring that over here, I have a photo album called Visual, Virtual Vision Board, that's what it is. And one of the rings, I have a photo of a ring, it's not like the exact same, I think in that one the band might've been gold. But um, anyways, there's a ring that I wanted, or a type of ring, and today I found it. And that is a rough cut amethyst. I feel like the lighting is not doing justice, but look at this. It's like kind of big and in your face, but I kind of love that. Uh, I think it's fun to always have like one or two pieces in like your jewelry collection. If you have a jewelry collection, that's kind of big and in your face. <laughs> like obsessed. Like yes, I kind of want to wear it every day, but I also like don't want the stone to fall out. Like what happened with my um. Oh my gosh, my brain. And I'm looking right at one and I'm like, what the heck is that thing called? Uh. Herkimer, a Herkimer diamond. I had to like physically hold it to remember what it was. A Herkimer diamond ring. So this might be like, don't wear it every day because you don't wanna, I don't know but love, so beyond obsessed. Like, it fits my ring thing like really nicely because I was like, ooh, I could just have two rings on one hand, hello. But something that I may have talked about, I don't know if I did, um, or maybe I wrote it down somewhere, is something that I learned, which is kind of common sense, but if you're like new to all this, then you might not realize, and that is to cleanse your stuff, like your stones, crystals, all that jazz. Like when if you buy something from a store online or whatever, um, 
you are to cleanse it because you know you have the people that work in the store and like customers that come in and out all day that pick up stones and then like their energy is now on them so you want to cleanse them so you could like smudge get out like a lavender seed out or a sage but given my allergies and my constant coughing i don't think i should be having this floating in my face right now so that's in my trusty dusty little feather comes in handy and you would just this is like a nice way to smudge things if you didn't want um to like have smoke and everything going or you could get like a spray that's always nice too especially for someone like me who really enjoys the smell of sage then you're not like bothered you can just like go around spritzing things but if you didn't want something like seeping into anything or making your house smell unique as I, I like to say my mom's like you know people are gonna think we're you know i'm like hey so before i like start wearing this every day and i might tomorrow if my allergies are not so crazy probably light my sage up but yeah, just showing y'all kind of like what you can do is just work on just moving the energy around basically. Do it to yourself, do it to like every room in your house if you're like me. Just up. kind of like just dusting all the yuck off. I like that, my friends. And then you always want to go like that to get the, and then send it back to the source. So, those are my goodies for my birthday. Love them out loud. Um, I feel like this was like a really nice, pardon me, a really nice birthday because it kind of felt like a two day celebration. I had a little bit of the adventure with the ballpark and the friends. And then I had like, some really nice gifts from family members. And I know honestly, there's gonna be a part three because one of my presents that's from my mom is to, when we're in California, I don't know, I probably mentioned California, and if I didn't, I'm going to California, y'all. And um, there's these two metaphysical shops that I really wanna go in. So my mom has put like some birthday money aside, if you will, so I can actually like, get some stuff in person, like kind of more or less um, of like the things I showed you, the met metaphysical things, not the makeup. Um, Cause today she's like, don't forget, like save some money for out in California. So <laughs> luckily I didn't like, there was some items in the store that I really liked, but I was like, ooh, where would I hang these? How would this work? And knowing that like, I really, really want some other stuff, putting that aside. And then I did post um, this photo of a fairy on my Facebook that I'm like beyond obsessed with. And my aunt, um, I was trying to find it online and I was having a hard time. My aunt found it. So she is putting some money towards that. So <laughs> I am totally getting it, um, but I'm probably gonna wait and order it later and have it sent to um, a different address. Cause I feel like something that's like big, I don't know if it's really big. I, something that could potentially be big and breakable that's gonna get sent here. And it's like nicely wrapped and packed and safe. Like, I'm not, it's just, anyways, hope, about getting all the nitty gritty details. Um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And the last one. I just think it's fun, you know, birthday or not, like to just share with you guys like all the cool things. Cause I feel like sharing is caring. And you might be like, oh wow, I didn't know something like that existed. And you could be like, 
where did you get that? I still want one. So, and the thing, and well, it was today was an adventure, and I was contemplating doing some other stuff, and I was gonna like text um, someone to see if they were around to be like, hey, you wanna like, you know, hang out and and like, either do like a salt room thing or like, what were the two things that were happening today? Today we had ooh, the Reiki Share Celebration, which was enjoy Reiki healing, meditation, high vibration, crystal singing bowls, drum, gong, and chants. Which that sounds really fun. It's, it was in Branchburg, so if that would ever happen again, totally. Um, then in Princeton, um, at the Four, Ele Four Elements Awareness Center was um, Relax and explore the depths of your soul with yogic instruments while enjoying halo therapy in our Himalayan salt room. So it was either one or one of the two, uh, and or <laughs> going shopping in metaphysical stores. And I was gonna ask someone if they could like tag along. But I'm glad I didn't because of the crazy adventure day that it turned out to be. I wouldn't have wanted that to drag anyone through that. But now that we have a better idea, if like, you know, you're like, hey. I mean, I don't know. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to go now. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon.